Hello guys, I'm back with another tutorial, and in this video I'm going to be modeling a modular building. So, um, previously I created a building with a flat texture and it could be really boring in some cases. Uh, if you're creating some animation instead of um, some sort of game, um, that kind of flat buildings can be very um, distinctive from the scene. So, today I'm going to be giving you some special tips when you're creating modular buildings within Maya. So, first of all, let's create a floor for this one. So, I'm going to start with this cube. Let's scale this up a little bit. And um, it depends on what kind of building you're creating. But I'm going to go with the uh, square type buildings with a little bit of curvature. So I'm going to use bevel for this one. You can just fraction and segments. And just do it like that if you want that. Is absolutely fine to add this. So I think um, this is not bad. So um, let's go with this one. So I'm gonna scale it down a little bit. And if you don't like what you did, you can always go back to attribute editor and go to poly bubble and you can adjust segments doesn't work sometimes so um, just delete the history if you're done so so next step is I'm gonna be adding some windows on the surface so I'm gonna select the entire loop of this surface so what we can do is we can extrude it once and press W to escape and um, we can scale it down and Y axis so we can make a little gap between the floors if you don't like that kind of gaps you can skip this part so I like this next step is extrude it again but this time, I'm not going to keep faces together, so I can just turn this off and add an, as a little bit of offset. So we can see now it looks like window. So, okay, it's working not bad. So, um, now I'm going to extrude it again, and this time I'm going to add a negative thickness to give it more like as part of glasses so um yeah i guess it's not bad so now is a material time so assign material and name it whatever you want this time i'm gonna go with ai glass and select invert and assign new material again and I mean just keep the name so now we got this so um let's select this delete the history now we only see those two shaders only so we can go to AI glass and the preset there's a glass shader so if you apply it when you turn the shaded shade view you're gonna see it's transparent not bad so now the floor part is done so we should stack this up this time but before we do that as you can see this um the ceiling over here is actually uh has a, only one side 
if you don't use the double sided lighting it will be a problem so let's deal with this one so what I'm going to do is I'm going to detach the detach the floor part over here and just raise it out a little bit just like that now it has a two-sided ceiling and if we just stack this up automatically it will be the floor part that is not bad that will be more efficient so we are ready but before we go i'm going to add a simple um, light um, um, to this ceiling because it could be a little boring if you're dealing with some night scenes so let me just focus on this one let's create a cube for a some sort of led lighting so i'm gonna attach this to the ceiling so you just raise it up and do whatever you want i'm just gonna make this a little more slim and duplicate it and make it longer a little by little i think that would be oh so i'm going to combine it delete the history oh i selected the building so so just only want to select the lights combine it delete the history now we can um move the pivot to the center and duplicate it rotate it 90 degrees and do it twice times more so that's done if you like it combine it delete the history again you can assign new material onto the mesh I'm going to call it AI light this time and simply I'm going to add some animation and maybe we don't need any base and specular if I keep it maybe another one to keep it maybe weight of emission would be fine that will be fine so um guess we should just the color of the standard surface too. Make it a little darker to make it distinctive between the lights and uh, actual building. And um, maybe it's too thick. Maybe we should make it a little more slim. Yeah, I guess it will work. So. We're done with the light part. Well, maybe we should add some other center, but I'm gonna skip, skip it this time. So let me combine those two again. Now we got a perfectly clean um, floor module. So if you want to scale it or whatever you want to do, do it. And next step is move the pivot. Uh, before you go, please center the pivot and press D to uh, edit the pivot and you can press V and snap it to the lowest part of it so now we got it so to stack it up you can easily um, duplicate it and snap it to that top vertex and just repeat it but it will be a little annoying so um there's a simpler way so you can move this it can create here um another measure tools and distance tool you can just snap those two vertices so you can see the distance between those two vertices so it's a pretty cool feature. So now what I'm going to do is let's go to edit and there's a duplicate special. So there's an option. 
what we need. That's what we need. And I'm going to go with the geometry type of copy. If you want instance, go ahead. So um, everything is fine up there. And what we want is this part. Let me get the scale. But what we need to do is a translate why we we need to stack this up so we can type this uh, distance into that translate y. So let's go with it. Type it and number of copies is going to be your uh, amount of floors. Let's go with 70 floors and just simply click the read specials. Now it's done. Very simple. So if you're done, let me just combine all of those. Just like that. And delete the history. You can move this aside from that. And now we got those kind of shape. So it looks like this. If you want another design, you can do some deforming. So you can use deformers to uh, make some more interesting shape. So right now, I guess it's pretty fine. Let's add some lightings to see how it looks like. You can simply click on this um, light at display and you can go to Arnold lights and skydome light we'll add the cool lightings and if you want you can use your cool HDR images I'm gonna go with the sky and if you're done go back to the skydome light shape and you can turn off the camera visibility and viewport visibility and now it looks pretty cool and yeah it looks really nice on the window it's got pretty cool reflections on it and um, if you want to adjust the color of the reflection it'll be, there is a cool way to do it but for that let me just um, adjust the intensity of that sky dome light now looks a bit better and um, let's go to AI Glass. If you want some more bluish kind of window, you can just add a blue tint on this window. Yeah, it will look better. So, um, if you like this shape, you can go with it, but if you want a little more interesting shape, uh, you can use Deformer any kind of deformer you want. Non-linear deformers are um, pretty nice in this case. So let's go with it. Before we go, it might crash, so let's save it. So um, type whatever you want. And let's try a flare deformer. So, you can go to Flare Handle and for example, you can increase the End Flare maybe Star Flare is, will be better Now, you can see what, what it's like this deformer you can create some sort of pyramid shape <laughs> looks pretty fine better than I expected. So, um, yeah, it looks pretty cool. So if you like that, you can copy or delete the history or whatever you want, but I want to delete that and just keep that one over there. So, um, that's with the flare nonlinear deformer. And this time, let's go with some sign deformer so if you create it 
nothing happens but you can um, control the amplitude to make this kind of sine graph shape Wow, looks very dangerous. You can add some offset to it. Drop off is also there. And if you want, you can mix um, any kind of nonlinear deformers. And that's pretty cool. So let's try whatever we want. Also, just the higher low bound here. This determines uh, which point you can start deforming it. So, um, yeah, it's, it's got pretty cool looking here. If you don't, uh, like you did before, you can duplicate it and just put this aside and get rid of those deformers. So I got the original mesh. So that was pretty much it. And if you want to render this out, let's just try to render it. I'm not really sure how it's gonna look like because I didn't really deal with the shaders. But yeah, it looks like this and I guess um it's not a bad looking maybe. Maybe the would be it would be better if there are some light controls but maybe you can do that with some mesh network I'll be creating a tutorial for that one but today's tutorial ends right here and I hope that this video was helpful for your work and um, I hope you made your own cool buildings Oh, uh, with this method. So, thank you for watching this video. And if you want more like this tutorial, please subscribe or press the like button. And thank you for watching.